so lately i have not lately um a couple of times like i get to see a lot of comments on my post people sending me a message here and there asking me how has life been has it been easy for you was it easy for you to cope how have you been managing and all hence the reason why i decided to film an, a life update video so um i will be telling you guys how it has been for me how i was able to cope and navigate my way around in the uk okay so um if it's your first time seeing this face okay my name is Ogonna precious and you are highly welcome to my youtube space and please do not make it your last hit the subscribe button and join this amazing family okay yeah thank you so uh with no further ado i'll have to um dive right into the video yeah i'll be very honest when i came to the uk life wasn't so hard for me I, I never sat down for a moment i felt like crying you know there are difficult times yeah but it didn't really get to me that much because i planned my life before coming i don't like making one single step without actually saying okay there is hope i don't do that it's not me maybe another person but not me the basic challenge you can actually face getting into the uk the first challenge you actually face is accommodation you don't want to come here and start living under the bridge you don't want to come here and start thinking oh i never knew it was this hard okay i didn't want to think about it so when i was in nigeria i had that understanding that rent in the uk is paid monthly and not annually okay so every month you have to bring out the money and pay whether you are working or you're not working so i had that at the back of my mind before coming into the uk so um before i came in i had a friend who helped me figure out how figure out how to manage my accommodation so where i live at the moment is actually a two-bedroom flat so um i stay in one of the rooms so yeah that's that so i hear people talking about amber um amber student accommodation whatever whatever i think that is another space for you to actually get your accommodation to make life easy for you when you come to the uk because you don't want to waste your money in airbnb okay another thing i did that helped me manage my life properly in the uk is that before coming to the uk I had a lot of dollars with me. I had over five hundred dollars with me. Like I had enough dollars with me, and I didn't change these dollars when I got to the UK. I changed the dollars while I was in Nigeria. Um, the pounds I got, I had the way I was giving bulky pounds. I was giving fifty fifty pounds. Like it was, I think fifty pounds is the biggest denomination in the UK so i didn't know nobody gave me this idea that 50 pounds is not so 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 in use in the uk in fact it was difficult for me to spend 50 50 pounds in the uk because it's bulky even the self-service option you cannot use 50 pounds in it i think the maximum was actually 20 pounds i couldn't use the 50 pounds but i was spending it anyway in places like i went to buy clothes and other things i was spending it yeah but please when you're coming to the uk yes bring carry carry money come with money okay because you don't have you don't have bank and nobody's going to dash you money okay so carry the um the pounds and come but please wherever you want to buy the pounds Tell them not to give you 50 pounds. Tell them to give you minimum of, of a maximum of 20 pounds, okay? Because it's difficult for you to spend 50 pounds. In the UK and some post office don't accept 50 pounds, okay? Yeah, that's that. So um as regards to um account, I told you guys I had a lot of cash with me. I couldn't open a physical account immediately what i did was i opened an online bank okay like in nigeria there is something called wema bank something like that it's an online bank that you can actually open and you can also get your your card your banking card yeah so that's it so 
you just fill in every application online and they are definitely all you need is just your address they'll send your card right to your doorstep so yeah that's what i did i started off by using an online bank and trust me that is something you want to do because you don't want to be carrying cash around all the time okay yeah so another thing i did was i reduced the clothing i carried you just want to buy space by reducing some of your clothing and carrying more of food items okay because you don't want to just get into the uk and you are running to african store you are running to pakistani shop so all you have to do most of the time is just to buy perishable food so i've come to the end of this life of date life update so it's just a two section kind of video something like that two section kind of video so now i want to talk about the cultural chalk oh my god i have a bad c factor please pardon me so the the culture chalk will be the next thing i'll be talking about yeah so um the first culture chalk that i want to talk about please permit me you have you sometimes you have me looking down on my notes because i wrote some of those things down okay the first culture chalk i experience in uk is the weather the weather is something else like the weather is so 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 deceptive more like a chameleon yeah if you permit me to use that word because one second it's sunny and you are going now thinking oh it's sunny my dear you better go away your cardigan because on stepping out you will definitely freeze like the weather will be so cold how can it be sunny and so so cold at the same time that is something i don't really understand but yes it's happening in the uk so number two on my list is that um um the seeing the doctor like when you are ill in nigeria all you all have to do is just do you have your money yes just go see the doctor and that's it but here it doesn't work that way for you to actually see the gp you have to book you have to book to see a gp and it takes a really long time for you to get to see the gp yes another thing that i noticed this one i noticed it the second day i got to the uk like their foods are like i don't want to say tasteless but oh my god it doesn't taste like my taste board doesn't appreciate them like i love trying new things but oh my god the first time i ate um chicken in the uk it tasted like oh god i wanted to throw up oh my god is that the chicken and chips you people have been telling me about it doesn't even taste so good okay talking about mcdonald i've always heard about mcdonald back in my country but coming here and testing mcdonald it doesn't it doesn't taste so wow wow like the way i've always heard about it you get like the food doesn't really tastes good i don't know if i should say it's tasteless it doesn't there's no pepper like i'm i'm going to throw up yeah that's one thing i noticed about this place so another thing that i noticed about this place okay pda is view pda is like is is common like you enter the train you're, you're seeing it you enter the bus you're seeing it you're walking around the road you're seeing it you are in front of your house you see it like it's it's a normal thing here like you just you just have to see it and just go away okay so another one that makes me to look down thank you everyone in this country okay minds their business you get you hear me i say everyone minds their business one thing i noticed about this environment like nobody cares about you like they are moving even if you are in trouble you wait there for the trouble find a way to save yourself okay because they are never going to come to your rescue all they can even assist you in doing is to help you call the police if they will but everybody definitely minds their business the only people to get in your business is the, is the police that is what i know about this place like it shocks me you know in nigeria everybody is there like we are all our own police when something is happening to your neighbor you go carry yourself go put the the one will concern you and the one will no concern you but here it doesn't have that way and me too when i see things happening i look like i was right like i don't know what is happening okay yeah so um another thing is okay okay let me just you guys like i think this is a funny one okay like 
every every time you get to see someone outside you know how we all in nigeria say oh good morning no it doesn't happen that way <laughs> like it doesn't happen that way like when you see people outside let me say in the morning in the afternoon whatever they don't say good morning good afternoon they don't say good evening no all you hear them saying is hello 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 like god what is that like everybody says hello that is not like their formal way of greeting is hello nobody says good morning but the funny thing i keep i always say good morning and some of them say oh good morning you know but some of them be like oh, what's this one talking about okay another another thing relating to this common um um greeting is um when you get injured maybe um something happens to you maybe you try to fall or like something maybe you you almost got injured okay they don't say sorry you know nigerians are fond of saying sorry whether now you push the person or nobody you push the person they'll end up saying sorry but no it doesn't happen here what they end up saying is when something happens to you or when something bad tries to happen to you they get to say oh you okay okay that's what they get to say to you nobody I, like obviously you know i'm not okay i tried falling you saw me fall down why should you have to say you okay my brother i'm not okay but funny enough that's what oh that's what they say here and yeah culture differences yeah <laughs> so another one is that oh one thing about yeah i love the road signs like god that is something i love about this environment like their roads are really like the road signs are really detailed you get to see you don't you don't like the road signs are like they are signs you don't need somebody to remind you about these things you do them okay when you see the traffic lights back in my country people get to see the traffic lights showing red and they see no car is coming in front or beside them or anywhere they just zoom off no here they literally wait for that like for the for the um, traffic light to show green before the move so they there are lines um on the road that you have to obey and stand there till it gets to show on the red sign and um, the green sign before you move so the road signs are really are something that like i love so much and the funny thing they obey this road signs like their lives depends on it interesting right yeah it's interesting so um another thing that shocked me in this country is god their public transport the first day i got in a public transport i feel like is this public transport are you kidding me are you for real like the public transport oh god it gives me chill like come on i know i know what public transport back in my country looks like like Anytime I think of getting on a public transport in Nigeria, I feel like crying because it's terrible. Like the um, the Aguru, ah, all of them, they want to make life miserable and difficult for you whenever you want to get in a public transport. But yeah, no, there is nothing like that. Like it's just easy. You just have to wait uh, for the bus you want to get into, get into the bus, get a seat and sit down. And that is just it. It's just chill. It's just comfortable. And it's just amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So another one. Um, oh God. This, this one, eh? I love this one so much. Like the self-service option in this country is top notch. Okay like i'm not saying my country is not doing well my country is doing well after my country is a developing country and yeah they are doing all right okay but here the first time i got to um london london heathrow i got to the airport i wanted to get something from a supermarket so i picked up the things that i wanted and i was just looking for the cashier um over the counter to pay for whatever i got from the supermarket but funny enough there is nothing at such okay there were self-service options someone actually came to help me like a worker in the supermarket to tell me oh you have to pay over there okay the self-service option it has both for card you if you want to make use of your card if you want to make use of um 
um cash payments like it accepts all of them you don't really need to stand and wait for um someone working over the counter to waste all of your time before you get to pay something okay you can just work in a space and the self-service options sometimes they are really numerous you don't have to stand on a queue like i'm not saying people don't stand on a queue for service service um self-service options no you people stand on a queue but it's so easy and it's fast because you don't have time to start um waiting for somebody to actually do things and the, the person is talking to another person like it's just so easy okay that's something i love about this country and i cannot wait for something like that to happen in my country okay yeah so another one where they bust my brain like i love this one so much is the return policy like guys like this one is the one that makes me so happy all you just have to get is just the um receipts and that's just it so just bear in mind that in this country if you buy anything and you don't want it just bring it back provided you have your receipt and that's just it and like that is giving me so much chill and so much happiness so another one i think this would be my last or maybe the second to the last so in this country okay you drink tap water yeah you heard me tap water you drink tap water you know when i got into the uk <laughs> the first day i came in i was so thirsty i told my friend i wanted to drink water so the next thing i was giving tap water i was like what is this and the water is so cold i was like like i can't like i can't drink tap water okay because i came in with that nigerian mentality that we don't drink tap water i said i wasn't going to drink tap water but the funny thing there was no bottle of water in the house so i ended up drinking the tap water but it, it felt cool like what was the water was really cool so um another one that i'll be talking about is the idea of shopping bags okay in this country you pay for your shopping bags like when you're done if it's a self-service option when you're done you click on bags like you choose either you want no bags or you want a bag two three four whatever how many bags you want so just know that you're definitely going to pay for that bag you cannot come to the place and just buy things and you are giving free bags no you pay for your bags okay it will be nigerian i'll always forget yeah i always forget that i'm supposed to carry a shopping bag whenever i want to shop and i'll end up paying for bags sometimes i'm lucky enough that i'm carrying my school bag or that i'm carrying my filthy bag and i just put them inside so another one which we all know is that there is frequent light in the uk okay <laughs> it, it, there is no you don't have to wait for nepa to bring the light before you can film a video there is two for seven light whenever you want to film provided you have your ring light okay you can film anytime you want because there is frequent light nobody takes your light provided you pay your bills okay that's amazing yeah so another thing is that the network is top notch the first day i got into the uk i tried to upload a video i wanted to upload the video and i just put it up there and plug my phone and slip off okay i just put it off there to go to the restroom to ease myself and come back my video is already posted i was like no way like the network is so like fast it's like it's fast that's all i can say and that's something i love about content creation in the uk it makes it easy you don't have to cry whenever you want to post video and be like oh my video no one post there's nothing like that okay so i think i if you leave me i'll keep saying over i'll I, i'll keep saying a lot of things because i know a lot of things that were great shock to me okay when i got in the uk part i just have to um cut the video short because i don't want to bore you guys so i think with this i've come to the end of this video the sit down video like it's been ages since i sat down to make videos and i didn't think i was i would be able to actually say things correctly or or sit down like it was difficult for me when i, I was about preparing to actually film this video but it, it's actually a success yeah so you guys should tell me if i did well because it's been long like if you notice i've been posting only vlogs here and there so if you really love this you know what to do 
please give it a massive thumbs up like comment and share i will see you guys on my next one bye